Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's movie review here and today I'd like to review for you a movie I just watched called The Devil Within. This one was provided to me for review by 4Digital Media. If you get a chance to check this one out, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'll include more information with the link to purchase one down in the description. So this movie starts out with this young woman. Uh, it almost seems like she's being exercised um, of a demon. And then we cut to, um, I guess, earlier. And we see this guy, he's trying to secure alcohol or something. I'm not really sure what this had to do with the movie. And it's really not even brought up again till the end. But I just didn't get what how it was important to the story at all. Um, and then um, this lady finds this woman in the middle of a field dying, I guess, of what? I don't know how she got there. I don't know. It, it, it does it have anything to do with the movie, I guess. And so then uh, her daughter uh, is brought into the hospital. I guess that was maybe just a way to get her to the hospital. And she's got like wounds on her wrists and on her head. Um, and somehow very quickly word spreads um that she is affected by stigmata all of a sudden you know she has the um injuries of christ uh from the uh cross you know the, the horn or the thorn crown and the nails Will those be through the hand right okay maybe they're through the hand um and so they don't really know why she has these wounds they're not sure if she inflicted them herself or what happened and she's unconscious and so while this is happening several people start trying to take advantage of this um, for their own gain you know the possibility of this was like some sort of divine thing that happened to her and her dad really starts getting greedy and trying to get this money uh, from the church or from this, uh, I don't know exactly what he was, but he was kind of like a preacher of an online church or something, but like of the Church of the Snakes or whatever they call those guys. I'm assuming because he was holding around a snake a lot, so I assume that's what his deal was. Um, and he's, he's trying to extort money from them for like exclusive interviews and all this stuff. And of course, you know, the Catholic church is trying to, um, I don't know. I don't know if they're trying to use her or just kind of get rid of it or, or what, but then this other guy, of course, he wants to use it. And all these people want to come see her and visit her and, 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 you know, believe that this is like some divine thing. And I thought that part was pretty interesting. You know, the fact that these people were just kind of trying to very quickly uh, extort the situation and and make money and profit off it and not really caring like what happened to her or what's going on. It's just like, well, how can we make money off this? And I thought that was kind of an interesting angle. And then out of nowhere, she gets kidnapped and by this guy who was very odd <laughs> and you don't really know what's going on with him, but he wants her to kill him, I guess, to f free him of his demon or I don't know. <laughs> it's not really explained very well. Um, and then somehow her mom finds her and I'm guessing the guy must be dead. I don't know. They find a, a body in there, but it's like completely decayed. So I doubt it was his body. <laughs> they find her and then she admits that she had tried to kill herself. She was pregnant, she had an abortion, and she tried to kill herself. But thinking back on it, like, I'm pretty sure none of that was true. But she would, I mean, you would cut your wrist, not your hands, right? So where were the wounds on her hands, right? Um, so then they do this hypno, hypno thing. <laughs> I don't know, did they reveal she was possessed or not? I'm not sure. Um, and then we see her randomly levitating in her bed. Um, and then the ending, the ending was real weird too. I don't want to give away the exact ending. But, I don't know, I felt like a lot of things in here didn't connect real well. Uh, I don't feel like they were really fully explained. And it just seemed like all these things random things were happening that were either not connected or not explained and I just wasn't sure through a lot of the movie what was going on um they do eventually say she has cancer <laughs> but I don't know if that had anything to do with anything I, I don't know um so the movie was all right you know the acting was okay it wasn't terrible um was a little on the slow side like I said I did find the whole thing like especially with the dad 
uh, trying to get this money. Very interesting. Another thing too, like the dad just out of nowhere, he like kills the family dog. And I was like, okay. <laughs> uh, so I give this one two and a half out of five. I hope you guys did in enjoy the video. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and gently tap the like button and I'll see you guys next time.